The Holy Gospel of Jesus Christ, according to Mark. Chapter 1 The beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in the prophets, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness is, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. John did baptize in the wilderness, and preach the baptism of amendment of life, for remission of sins. And all the country of Judea, and they of Jerusalem, went out unto him, and were all baptized of him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, and with a girdle of a skin about his loins. And he did eat locusts and wild honey, and preached, saying, A stronger than I cometh after me, whose shoes latchet I am not worthy to stoop down and unloose. Truth it is, I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Ghost. And it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth, a city of Galilee, and was baptized of John in Jordan. And as soon as he was come out of the water, John saw the heavens cloven and twain, and the Holy Ghost descending upon him like a dove. Then there was a voice from heaven, saying, Thou art my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And immediately the Spirit driveth him into the wilderness. And he was there in the wilderness forty days, and was tempted of Satan. He was also with the wild beasts, and the angels ministered unto him. Now after that John was committed to prison, Jesus came into Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God, and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent, and believe the gospel. And as he walked by the sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. Then Jesus said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you to be fishers of men. And straightway they forsook their nets, and followed him. And when he had gone a little further thence, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and John his brother, as they were in the ship mending their nets. And anon he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the ship with his hired servants, and went their way after him. So they entered into Capernaum, and straightway on the Sabbath day he entered into the synagogue and taught. And they were astonied at his doctrine, for he taught them as one that had authority, and not as the scribes. And there was in their synagogue a man in whom was an unclean spirit, and he cried out, saying, Ah, what have we to do with thee, O Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee what thou art, even thou holy one of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace, and come out of him. And the unclean spirit tear him, and cried with a loud voice, and came out of him. And they were all amazed, so that they demanded one of another, saying, What thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For he commandeth even the foul spirits with authority, and they obey him. And immediately his fame spread abroad throughout all the region bordering on Galilee. And as soon as they were come out of the synagogue, they entered into the house of Simon and Andrew, with James and John. And Simon's wife's mother lay sick of a fever, and anon they told him of her. And he came and took her by the hand, and lifted her up, and the fever forsook her by and by, and she ministered unto them. And when even was come, at what time the sun setteth, they brought to him all that were diseased, and them that were possessed with devils. And the whole city was gathered together at the door, and he healed many that were sick of diverse diseases. And he cast out many devils, and suffered not the devils to say that they knew him. And in the morning, very early before day, Jesus arose and went out into a solitary place, and there prayed. And Simon and they that were with him followed carefully after him. And when they had found him, they said unto him, All men seek for thee. Then he said unto them, Let us go into the next towns, that I may preach there also. For I came out for that purpose. 
and he preached in their synagogues throughout all Galilee, and cast the devils out. And there came a leper to him, beseeching him, and kneeled down unto him, and said to him, If thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And Jesus had compassion, and put forth his hand, and touched him, and said to him, I will, be thou clean. And as soon as he had spoken, immediately the leprosy departed from him, and he was made clean. And after he had given him a straight commandment, he sent him away forthwith, and said unto him, See thou say nothing to any man, but get thee hence, and show thyself to the priest, and offer for thy cleansing those things which Moses commanded, for a testimonial unto them. But when he was departed, he began to tell many things, and to publish the matter, so that Jesus could no more openly enter into the city, but was without in desert places, and they came to him from every quarter.